Hi, it's Mama Rose, and I'm going to do a quick, like, bulletproof coffee because it's, um, ooh, it's about 3 o'clock and we're a little tired. So I'm just going to give us a little boost. And so I'm going to do this really quick. The reason I'm doing this is because normally I get my Vitamix out and I go through this whole big procedure. But I'm going to go ahead and just use my invert, my, um, oh, I forgot what you call this. Ah! Immersion blender. Boy, that was good. I need coconut oil. That reminds me that's going to go in here. There we go. We're ready. We got the first. I'm making one for Mama Bear and Papa Bear. So there we go. I'm just going to put it in this wide mouth mason jar. Can you see that? Wide mouth mason jar. Okay, I'm going to back this camera up just a little bit more. And then I'm going to make the second cup. And there we go. Okay. And then I'm going to take my butter. Just a scoop of butter here. And it'll get it off of there. My Kerrygold butter. And then we're going to have a big scoop of coconut oil. Uh, too. So we want to have, we're going to make this double because Mama Bear and Papa Bear are going to eat it. And, I, and anytime I make any kind of a drink, I always try to throw a little bit of the magnesium concentrate in there, just a little liquid liquid um, minerals. And it's got a, this one's got a bunch of trace minerals in it. And you can get this just about anywhere. This is um, Earthshift. I went to Earthshift, which is Dr. Kassar, and I really like him. I've learned a lot from him. Over the years, we're going to put the other. So this is two cups of coffee in here, obviously. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, you can just get whatever brand you get. I go to Mountain Rose Herbs and I order bulk. I order lots of different herbs bulk. And I get the, the raw cacao and I'm going to go ahead and put a scoop of this in. Another little hint is if you have coffee that you get um, that's not very strong, like I happen to like a really dark roast, but if you do get one and it's not it's not bold enough for you, if you add a little of this raw cacao in it, it really does give it that, really give it a punch. And then of course we always put cinnamon in our coffee because cinnamon is really good for your blood pressure and it's just really good. It tastes good. It's good for lots of stuff. Look it up. And then I'm going to use my stevia. This is my favorite stevia. This is Trader Joe's brand of stevia, but I have been getting another one that's a little bit less expensive and it is this right here this um by um now it's better stevia it says organic they have one that's not organic and one that is i like the one that is organic and then i'm going to go ahead because we need a little bit of boost here i'm going to give it we're keto we're we're um, ketogenic we're on the ketogenic lifestyle and so i'm going to go ahead and put a scoop for papa bear and a scoop for mama bear in there and we're good. I like this one because it has the the um, the two acids in it. I'll go ahead and see if you can see that. But it has the um, the lauric acid is the one that isn't so important. But the um, and I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read it. Ah, here. It's capri capraic and caprylic, something like that. And those are the acids that we want. It's C-A-P-R-Y-L-I-C, -C, so it's caprylic, and that has 3.5 uh, grams of the MTC, the medium chain triglyceride. That's what you want. That's why I'm having this MTC. The other one, and that's considered a C8. The C10 is the capric acid, C-A-P-R-I-C acid, and that this has two grams. The lauric acid is the C12, and that one is the one that you find in breast milk. And although it's really good, it isn't the MTC. It isn't as powerful and pure as those two acids in it. So this brand I really like. I've gotten many different brands. This one is the Garden of Life. And I forgot the doctor's name, but he's a doctor that's written some really, if you, if you do keto, you know who he is. Um, I don't know if he's the grain brain or one of those guys, but this is a really good brand right here. So now that we did all that, you can see how easy it is to make this coffee. And there we go. And 
then you know what I do because everything I do, I try to get, here we go, we get you good. I try to make it probiotic. So I have this wonderful kefir heavy whipping cream that I made. So what I do is I take the kefir, the heavy whipping cream that I get at Trader Joe's, I'm always talking about, and that's so it's $3.99 for, I think it's a pint. And I put my kefir grains in it, and I culture them for, you know, 12 hours maybe, or 8 hours. You know, it doesn't really take as long. And then I just keep working out of this when I go to, to make a drink. We do cold drinks with our, uh, with some of our um, vitamin powders that are flavored. And I make orange Julius, as they're really good. But here we go, I'm going to whip the cream in there. Sometimes I just put the dollop, and it, it's unsweetened. So if you do want to whip that cultured whipping cream, you could do that. And then you've already got some sweetener in it, and then you just put it in your drink. So this is, I'm going to go ahead and do my taste test first, and then I'll give Papa Bear his. So here we are. Oh, here we go. Mm, that's really good. And that is really good. Well, you have fun making your coffee, and we'll see you next time. Bye.